Lucinda says, so having a rotation of men is the best way, having abundance. So how to, do you peel your energy off the one you want to pursue without chasing them? With, you mean out without chasing the new men? Uh, well, what you want to do is start, um, is like what I was talking about earlier with the last question is start, start investing from in, from like a, a time and attention standpoint, you want to start giving your time and your attention to something else, right. To these men. Right. And, and like I said, when you're leaning back, that doesn't mean you're only that you're never doing anything, right. You're still connecting with men. You're still asking them questions. You're still getting curious about them. You can still go home and write down a list and be like, what do I appreciate about these men? that I was just spending my time with, right? And change, shift your focus over to these men and start connecting with these men and connecting with these new guys. And what will end up happening is it'll move over, right? What you have to do is you have to cut off, right? When you're, when you're in love with a guy, it's like an, an addiction, right? It's like, it's like being on drugs. You have to wean yourself off of your ex or this other guy, this guy that what you want, he, that wants you to chase him or whatever situation you're in, you have to wean yourself off of him and start connecting and building that connection in other places. And once you shift your focus and shift that connection over to other people and other things, what will end up happening is you'll start to lose more and more and more desire to be with that person until all of a sudden, next thing you know, your, your focus is on yourself because you're building and strengthening your identity and your attention is on these other men where you're learning about them and you're appreciating them and you're valuing them and you're connecting with them. And over time, what will happen is that will go away and there, maybe there might still be something lingering in the background, but at least you will have other things that are going on and you won't be so focused on that and you won't be so addicted to it anymore. And eventually it'll end up going away if you keep kind of just going, you know what, I, I'm, I don't want to deal with that, right? And if you have a lot of energy around it, my suggestion is that you release that energy, right? If you've got a lot of energy on an X, what you can do is just release all that onto a paper or whatever and just burn it or read it out loud or yell it into the universe or, you know, do some kind of fairy dance around it and, you know, whatever, whatever we're into th this day and age.